The following video will demonstrate how to import virtually any CAD or Gerber files and bill of materials and export to a pick and place assembly machine program setup file for electronic PC board assembly manufacturing. In a few steps, we'll show you how to create assembly program files from CAD files and bill of material. First thing is you click on the file directory, then click Smart Open. Smart Open will look at all the files and the folders in a particular directory and the subdirectories. It brings up all the importable type files such as CAD and Gerber files. Uh, the best files float to the top. In this case, we have a wide choice from this directory of GenCAD, IPC, Valor, PCAD, FabMaster, uh, Mentor Graphics, Pads, Tango, etc. So we have all different types of files that we can choose from. We're going to open a PCAD file here, which is my sample file. And now we have some data on the screen. Uh, the part numbers, etc., are the part numbers that were in the CAD, which is normally the uh, shape information. So, what we want to do is we want to clear the BOM and we want to import the bill of materials, the correct bill of materials. You can make templates um, from any type of uh, BOM file and import them. So, we're going to import, we'll grab the bill of material. Uh, when it imports the bomb, basically it, it cleans up the bomb and finds any errors and gives you all the tabulations. So here we found a duplicate U7B uh, in the bomb but not in the CAD. We found a duplicate U5. We had a total of 27 part numbers, 303 components uh, have part numbers, and 11 do not have part numbers. And the 11 are indicated here. You can also blink those on the screen. Uh, now if we click on the information tool we'll see that we basically have all the information for the component itself and also from the bill of materials tied to the component. Now we can go and to our place AOI x-ray menu and we'll set reference 1 and 2 and then we'll pick a, an output machine on this menu, you can do uh, selective solder machines, AOI, and uh, a wide variety of assembly machines. So in our case, we'll mark reference 1, which is usually your fiducial mark, and we'll mark reference 2. And now we can go ahead and generate our output. And in this case, I'm going to do a MyData uh, TP sys file. Uh, this is a correction menu. Basically, we're going to choose top side. If you run into any problems, you can adjust the data here, and 90 plus percentage of the, of the time, you'll uh, just click OK. And we're going to output the file. And Basically, that's it.